Hello YouTube and welcome back to another WWE 2K23 episode and this is part 5 and just for a recap for you guys before we get into it in the last episode as you can see on our screen right now we had to team up with Ava after Natalya got hurt because we were competing for the tag team championship money in the bank match we haven't even got the belt yet so that whole episode was taken up by us I guess you could say getting acquainted with Ava and we went through I'll say maybe three or four matches and ended in the money in the bank match and of course we won it and of course we still can't sort out our differences so I don't want to give you guys too much of a cliffhanger man we're going to get straight back into the story because luckily for you guys the next story mission is not the last story mission which is the story gate so we'll still be able to do everything else as you see right here as well so we're going to start off pick right back up with make your brief case all right let's see congrats kira and ava moreno happy to see you two could work it out who's the money in the bank winner me having a lot of fun courting this carting this briefcase all over my epic victory tour don't you mean us seems like i should have a turn with the briefcase we want Sure, whatever, but I already got a dinner reservation for two later. Briefcase has its own chair. Natch. So it makes sense for me to hold on to it for the time being. What a, like, what? On the next ruthless, ruthless digressions, we'll have a full analysis of the first ever Money in the Bank tag team match. Tune in. Sorry to sneak up on you, Pete Dunn. But I had to get my hands back on that 24 7 championship. Now it's mine again. That's a mission. A yeah, nice briefcase. Enjoy it while you can. Cause nobody is ready for us, Ska. Anytime, any place, we're ready. Whether you let us know in advance or not. All right, new DMs. Follow me back. I'm your biggest fan. We already did that. All right. So biggest fan and then sorry to sneak up on you. All right, cool. But yeah, no more holding up. Let's get into it, man. So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the money in the bank ladder match and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the money in the bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, Politely tap them on the shoulders and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I'm not gonna lie. See, when it comes to money in the bank, she got a point. But at the same time, we got a reputation to uphold i'm okay with both options but then again this is like, this is kira's story it's not my story so we're gonna go with the honorable way once again that's not the way i want to win my matches well then you shouldn't have won the money in the bank match because that's how the briefcase works you're proving my point i said i didn't want to win that way not that i couldn't then prove it take someone out when they don't expect it then you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. What? Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm not playing your games. Fine, but I'm not cashing in this contract with a partner I don't trust to get the job done. We'll have this conversation again later. Oh my goodness. Hey, yo. <laughs> We don't have a choice. If it isn't Miss Sneaky, I would say I didn't see you coming, but I totally did. Feel like showing me you're more than just a goody two shoes by proving you can play dirty? Fine. 
but only because I want to get this cash in on the road, not because I need to prove myself to you. This is crazy. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official. Oh my God. She is not happy. But honestly, um, <laughs> I'm not happy about this, and I think this is going to turn into something, but we're going to see, man. We're going to see. Couldn't get a reversal there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if our reversal rating is high enough, then we actually get the opportunity to revert. Golly, can you calm down? That that literally didn't even look like okay. You know what? If we actually would have reversed that, that would have looked she would have looked dumb on her part. And I cannot reverse anything. This is bad. This is bad, bro. Like reversals is not even showing up anymore. I think it's because our rating is so low. But we did get a little bit of a head start as well. So, I mean, I guess that's cool. She's kind of already, like, beat. And I'm pretty sure that's because of the cutscene. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Still can't reverse that. Oh my gosh. So smooth. DDT delivered. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Whoa. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, just completely off target there. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. What are you doing? Brings down a hammer to turn the tide. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Roundhouse combo. Grabbing the ball. Crazy. You can't take much more of this. She's been on the bad end of a beating here, and it's starting to show. Turning the tables. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Dang. Absolutely chucked by a German suplex. Yeah, she might reverse this. For some reason, she was backing up. Oh, she didn't, though. Luckily, she didn't. Luckily, she didn't. Let's try to pin. We still have our signature, too, by the way. So, this, you know, it could work out. Still got our signature. So, as long as... As long as... As long as we work on this thumb bar, we should be all right. Here. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. Back suplex. Shotzi able to avert that. Oh wow. Ducks through. Up and over. For the win. Strong kick out late into the match. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. Big miss right there. She won't like what she's met with. 
That should be it. I ain't gonna lie. That should be it. That should be it. There is no way she's surviving this. There we go. But yeah, I'm not proud of what we just did. Like, like, I, I don't know, man. You know, we always do things the honorable way because it's, you know, it's not hard. I'm saying we win the way we want to win, and we didn't want to win that way. But I mean, it is what it is. We got to move on with the story, so we really didn't have a choice, to be honest. But anyway, enough of my rambling. Yeah, here comes the aftermath. Oh, like, look, no more games. We we already did what you requested. She finished just keep egging it on. See, I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order, and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh. You're the worst. And yeah, I guess that's plenty of time for Shotzi to get her revenge for us doing that to her. Yeah. Called it. Called it. <laughs> and now we got to fight in street clothes. Nice. Nice. Oh, this gonna hurt on the concrete. Yeah, this gonna hurt. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, all this finna hurt. Kira don't be playing no games when it comes to them bombs. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Yeah, we putting the hurt on her. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this finna hurt too. I ain't gonna lie. Dang. Tough. No, ma'am. What good does that do you without a ring? Wow, I didn't reverse any of that. There we go. Should be a knockout. That's not a knockout. I'm dead. Well, this finisher should be. I'm not gonna lie, this finisher should be. Whoa. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. minute. Carrier to that. No, I wanted the carrier. Forget it, bruh. What was that? All right, let's see. There we go. Now, I think the button to carry was this. It is not. I think it's R1. The button to carry is R1, because I know I can pick Shotzi up, no question. I can pick her up, no question. There we go. And she reversed it. I knew something was weird. No, ma'am. Let's try this again. 
don't revert and she keeps reversing it oh my gosh now nah, i'm putting her through a flaming table bro this is interesting bro i'm putting you through a flaming table this is the last thing i do if it's the last thing i do you getting put through this flaming table miss lady there we go <laughs> well that was anticlimactic <laughs> You attack someone for absolutely no reason, better believe it's personal. What did you think would happen? Whose side are you on? Why don't we settle this in the ring? No surprise and no DQ. You want to play that way, you know I'm game. You might have to make sure Kira understands the premise of a no DQ match. Does she know you can use weapon or is she too much of a good girl? I know. You're on. Don't worry. I won't play nice. Eh. Anyway. What the heck was that? turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a mm. disqualification match? Bring on the All right, I gotta get a baseball bat. I'm gonna throw her outside the ring and get a baseball bat. Um, it's probably a cutscene connected to that as well, but we'll see. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. There we go. Oh wow. Irish whip shots into the stairs. Heading back to the ring. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Come on. Chazi, come on. She's literally afraid. I'm deceased. What are you doing? Get up here. So many WWE careers come on. on SmackDown. Eddie. I gotta Cena, throw you out at Ray, this point. AJ Styles, the list goes on. I gotta throw you out at this point because I don't know what your deal is. Charlie just didn't move a muscle. Forced out of the ring. This one is headed outside, guys. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna let her get up after this. If she, hopefully she doesn't take her time getting up. Well, that works too, I guess. To now I'm up. Be able to start mounting something here. Could be a sign of Shotzi turning her fortunes around. Oh no, what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up on the barricade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no playing around. Let's see if we can get her in the stairs now. All right, now what? Stop Shotzi to check outside of me with a stop sign. Oh my gosh. They just want me to kill this girl. Now look for something to waylay her opponent with. Is Jesus. Is that a stop sign? No, it's a different red Kendo stick while in the ring. This match is Bro, they want me to kill this woman. I am dead. They want me to put And back into the ring she goes. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye, well, to eye but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for well, something. Either that or she just wanted well, to the fun of this no DQ Can't say match. we didn't have All this, this coming. Perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Look at it capitalize. Oh wow! We finally didn't lose in the cutscene for once. <laughs> That's a new one. I, know, I like this episode now. I like this chapter now. That wasn't that bad. I, I give you that, Abel. I give you that. That, 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 that one. That wasn't that bad. Prop, 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 prop. She came in on that. She had her back on that. That's that's tough. <laughs> Props. I give you that. That was unexpected. You defending me in the ring? It certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. What the? Fair point. But I didn't know you. You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. What's going on? 
I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure, but your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business Jealousy. already. You even knew some of the Envy. crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, Jealousy and it was difficult Envy. seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kinda mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other. Which is actually a good thing going if we're going on? to work together on this cash in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of. Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great. Ava, you don't win and done it. Oh boy. Good going, Ava. Nice. Good going. You don't win and duped it up now. You We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness. But both of you, save your breath. A decision has already been made. Match. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match Pardon. next week. That's not fair, Molly! Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. All right, man. I'm pretty sure they're going to give us some weapon After objectives again. Turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not mm. technically mm. fair because mm. Shotzi and Raquel have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Oh, and then the chest as well. All right, let's see what a light grapple does. Got it. Mmm. She read that. All right, let's try light grapple again. Yeah. She broke it the first time. She's thinking of moving on. Paper, scissors, rock type beat. <laughs> Hey! You see, we ain't doing no springboards in a while as well. We should go for the springboards. No now. Take shots he head on with the front when the grapple is either LJ or Ava. Alright, tag your partner in. Tag your partner in. Oh my god. Why would you go for the possum? Why would you go for the possum? Like, it's literally, you have no reason to. And I got stunned. That's what. Shotzi ducks. Nails a discus forearm. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen money in the bank. She literally briefcase. said she wasn't bringing the briefcase, but place. are you serious, bro? Are you, are you dumb? The original briefcase with She's dumb. She's, the one who's She's retarded. The she literally just said she wasn't bringing the briefcase out. What an idiot. I literally just read. I literally just read your message. You said you You literally just said you weren't bringing it just to bring it. I'm dead. I'm dead.
All right, man, so let's see what's going on with this tag team belt match, man. It's been a long time coming, honestly. Okay, that was fun. And look how far you've come. Didn't even hesitate to use that briefcase against her. Not like that so-called honorable choice you made when you faced me. I still don't like it, but... I see your point. Fighting dirty is necessary sometimes. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You wanna face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots. I'm ready. Nah. Now when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. I don't know where this is going. Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat the clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. Well, Shotzi's more your size, so I'm going with Raquel. I love it. I'll face Raquel. Then I'll take Shotzi. Best of luck, partner. Bro, I, I'm i kind of uncomfortable with this. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with this, bro. She's actually being nice. Like, I don't know how to feel about it just yet, bro. I can't be so trusting out the gate. <sighs> Story's just getting started. All right, let's see what can be done about this whole Raquel situation. Partners now facing Raquel Rodriguez one on one. While earlier tonight, Ava took on Shotzi. Maybe they wanted to teach Raquel and Shotzi. Dance off me. All right, let's get started. It feels like Never mind. Let's not get started. Especially since these teammates have decided to turn this into. Tell she's trying. I can tell she's trying to make this difficult for me. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Yeah, I just need to focus on doing damage. I just need to let the signatures and the finishers come naturally, but I just need to focus on like literally destroying her. A well timed dodge. And that was an efficient fall. Yeah, I just need to focus on destroying her. Some might call that snow. Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Ah, oh, that's whack. Punch. Look at this, going counter for counter. Sequence of reversals there. Leg sweep. And what a maneuver we just saw there. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. And yeah, my stamina's going low. You can tell I'm trying to kick. This could be wow. And shoulders up before a count of one. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming. She was clearly waiting for that. Drag. Very nice. And Raquel absorbs another stiff blow that time. Yeah, at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. All right, we should be good. I think this is it right here. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Get right on up. Don't waste my time. Going right for the pin after this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't roll her over. She can rope break like that. Let's go. With a minute to spare, man. Nice and snappy. Suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. All right, man. Finally, can we please go get those belts? <laughs> it's literally going to take a whole two episodes, man, if we don't get them here. That deal's the deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the tag team championships, 
Let me know. The decision is yours. And I'll use it wisely. All right, so that's the end of that story. Storygate, that's what we don't want. So let's move on to Tom. You're not the only one looking to improve their street cred. I'm trying to get better at editing my own footage. Only problem is, so many matches are so quick it's hard to get enough content to really experiment with. Maybe you could do me a solid and face someone in a two out of three falls match? Then I'd really have something to work with. Who? Who is this? The one woman highlight reel. And Katana Chance. Katana Chance. I'll give Chance this. She is a very, very hard worker who is always up for a challenge. Man, a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of wrestlers with some nice outfits, but I'm not gonna lie. If I could put something like this on my creative character, I definitely would. She, oh, she's climbing. All right. She's climbing the ring post. I'm dead. I've never seen that before. She says, screw the ropes. <laughs> I'm going in over the ring post. Never seen that before. You know what, guys? I'd be hard-pressed to name a woman with a brighter future, in my opinion, here in WWE. She's proven herself not just as a capable singles competitor, but also right, we gotta mow her down. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about quick matches, man. We gotta mow her down. No mercy. No mercy. One, maybe the loneliest and, oh yeah, look at the size difference. She's not even in our weight class, for sure. No one wants to listen to you for that long, Saxton. Oh, oh my god, Kira, you're slow. Kira, we gotta work on that run speed. <laughs> we gotta work on that run speed, Kira. That is bad. Right back at you, homegirl. Springboard. Oh wow, she reversed that. Oh wow, they stalled it so she could reverse it. Why are you on the floor? That was the first time you got hit. Make it make sense. What the? Things taking a turn for her now. She can withstand the punishment though, and they just toss them aside. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Come on. Dictating the pace. Yeah, she's really being the aggressor lately. All right, back to what we was doing beforehand. Oh, this is some strength. Military press into the power slam. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Soaring into the arm drag, spectacular athleticism. Kick right to the face. Watch this display of power. Sit up, power bomb. All right, how you feel about body submissions? How you feeling? Just talking them, trash talking, and now stunning display of power. This is excruciating. Look at the body. Look at not yet. Body. Not, sure not yet. Not she yet. Well, I think she we'll go for it later, though. We definitely will go for it later, though, because her body is in the red. Oh wow. No way you're getting the pin off of that. Come on now, you gotta do way more than that. Alright. Knee to the cheekbone. 
second. Caught in midair. Power slam. And she's gained total control. All right, let's try it again. Her body's at a debuff, so it should work out for us. Yo, she won't give. Oh, no, she won't give. No, I can't. I can't let you run. Katana was expecting that. She goes back inside the ropes. As their opponent ripped hard into the Ooh. corner, followed by the clothesline and a rolling neck snap. Well, can she do it here? Bruh, I, why are you trying so desperately to score like that? You're getting squashed. She's literally getting squashed. She's not really doing much but stalling. She's not doing much at all but stalling. Like a whole lot of stalling. All right, it'll be easy to go for the pin now than submission later. Nice counter from Chance. There's a snap there. And a basement drop kick. Still no reversal options for those. Kind of weird. Ooh, right, let's go for it. There we go. It's over. Oh, and a nice work. Here is your winner, King of Hero. All right, plus 10% technical submissions and plus six attribute points. So that's cool. Not bad at all. Um, Next, we're going to go see what Robin Ray wants. And that'll be the last mission for the episode. I'm sure you heard the latest episode of my podcast. I was wondering if you had any response to Tamina's comment saying you have fear in your eyes. According to her, even in the ring, you're looking to escape. Or better yet, how about you two have a match without leaving the ring? Sounds good to me. The more I can beat on them. All right, man. This should be a smooth one. tonight because there's no escaping allowed. I've got it on good authority and this stems from Tamina's disparaging comments about a certain opponent on a recent podcast. A little podcast smack talk aside, didn't multiple people escape from Alcatraz? Like, I'm not sure that analogy holds up, Cole. Nonetheless, the referee will do their best to keep these two in the ring to settle their issue. Stomp right to the gut, followed up by another to the chest. Tamina now in defensive mode. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Picked uh -oh. up. Vicious backdrop suplex. And the momentum's clearly against Tamina now. But Tamina's just one move from turning this around. What a counter. Saw that one coming. Are you serious? Side headlock takeover, nicely done. Really wrenching it. She's been brought to a disadvantage now. She's been pushed into a bad Yeah, what was that whole sure. talk about fear? Where was that? Oh, a back body 
You're looking real bad right now. Ouch, Connor. She's losing some steam now. Yeah, but you can't. She's looking real bad yet. right about now. This match could still go either way. And he's talking about this match can still go either way. Do you see what's going on right now? She's in her clutches. You're a Nagi. Man, oh man. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And the momentum's clearly against Tamina now. But Tamina's just one move from turning this around. Alabama slam face first. This is this is ridiculous. She's getting destroyed. She's firing up, no doubt about it. And the cover for the win! And a quick kick out. Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. She's staying elusive. Haymaker connects. Buster. This is ridiculous. Made her pay oh, wow. Why does it always get reversed? She can withstand before... Kick to the gut, cinched up here. Here we go! That should be it. I'm not going to lie to you. Wow. And that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I'm not really bugging about it. See, she's going to reverse this. Oh, she did not reverse it. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Eyes prize shut. Six upgrade points and 10% grapple offense. All right, so let's check with all these attribute upgrades. We are now 92 overall, plus 10% both arm and leg, so that's 89 out of 100. 10% the grapple offense, so that's 91 out of 100. Then 10% the technical, so that's 55 out of 100. It's not really there yet. Then the body durability, I forgot about that. That's 94 out of 100. So cool. All right, we'll take that. And then, of course, we have to go with defense. We have to get our defense up because our reversal game is not that good. It's not that good. But it's okay because we're doing just fine. So much for the accusation that Master Key is running scared. Maybe what Tamina thought was fear was really determination. Tune in for more thoughts on this and more on my next episode. Cool. But yeah, sadly, that is the end of another episode, guys. Um, we are now mostly through the chapter, and I think we're going to do all of the side missions come next episode. And depending on how much time we have with that, we're going to finish with Unlikely um, Partners, the story gate. So, thank you guys for watching, and if you stayed this long, leave a like, and also subscribe if you want to see more WWE 2K23, the Legacy Walkthrough, and after this, we will be doing the lock as well for myself, so be sure to stay tuned for that if you guys love WWE 2K, and then we'll move on to other games, man. But without further ado, this is D20 is signing out. Thank you guys for tuning in and staying this long. I'm going to see y'all in the next one.